This week, the EU will try to reach a deal on a new policy that is supposed to save the climate. But so far, EU member states haven't been able to agree. Now, some countries, they do want to go green and clean, but others worry more about costs and their industries rather than climate change. The basis for this week's climate talk in Brussels is a Commission proposal with three main targets for 2030. It says that the EU should cut greenhouse gas emissions by 40% compared to 1990 levels, improve energy efficiency by 30% compared to business as usual, and increase the share of renewables in the energy mix to 27%. Some countries want to go further than this. Germany, Denmark and Sweden all want to cut emissions by at least 40%. And they also want binding targets for energy efficiency and renewables. Jytte Guteland, a Swedish member of the Environment Committee in the European Parliament, says that the EU must come forward now with an ambitious climate package. The leadership must be that if we would like to have a secure and a, a policy that takes responsibility for the climate change, then we must do something now. We can't wait for the future. It will be more expensive for the future generations if we don't act now. Other member states, mainly Central and Eastern European, are aiming for lower targets as they fear that they will lose out on too demanding cuts. Poland is leading the opposition. The country wants lower and non-binding targets for efficiency and renewables. And they also argue that the EU has to take into account the starting point of Poland, being largely dependent on coal. Before the summit this week, the Danish foreign minister Martin Lidegaard said he understood the Polish concerns, but still he argued for tough targets. Polen har en meget stor kulindustri. Der er mange arbejdspladser i Polen bundet i kulindustrien. Det er helt naturligt, at det fylder noget i den polske debat. Men det ændrer ikke på, at fremtidens energisystem i Europa er et energisystem uden kul. So EU member states don't agree, not on the actual numbers, nor on whether the targets should be binding or just indicative. However, Annika Hedberg, a climate expert at the think tank European Policy Center, believes a deal will be reached. A deal that will give some flexibility to the member states. I think there is an ambition to hammer through an agreement on the framework. There is still, even within these figures, there is room for, for flexibility and what that will mean for different member states and what the implications of that would be. So hopefully by the end of this week the EU will have a new climate policy. But even if they do agree on all the figures and all the targets, there will be some room for flexibility and manoeuvre, so that all countries could go home happy.